What's up guys, Armadaz here, and we're back for another video of uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3 in the Wake of Gods, a uh, little community mod. Uh, I already selected a scenario, so let's go into single scenario, and uh, I will always pick a scenario beforehand, before making a video, so you guys don't have to sit and watch me pick a scenario. Uh, again, we're going to be playing of uh, difficulty 130%. Now... I'll also read the description of the uh, of the scenario and uh, another thing if the scenario that we're playing will take a couple episodes to complete you know or you know die or wh whichever please don't attack me yes yes oh you you are kidding me um, then I will you know uh, title the video accordingly so you guys don't get lost again you can also check out uh, my YouTube page and go on to playlist I uh, create playlists for whichever series I create so you can check out all of them just by clicking on the playlist tab uh, you know unless YouTube decides to change which you know it does happen quite a lot anyway so the scenarios description of today's uh, scenario is uh, it has been rumored that the barbarians have been preparing for war for quite a while Today it looks uh, like uh, looks to be like the day they have been waiting for. They have launched an attack upon the cities and now war is breaking out everywhere. It is up to you and only you to take control. Now, um, as you can see, uh, player red is uh, stronghold. Uh, his castle or faction is stronghold and player red, uh, green is also stronghold. Now, these guys are probably the barbarians because as you can see they got goblins, uh, wolf raiders, orcs and orges. Uh, you know, these, what you would call barbarians, you know, the, like, uh, this is the only faction that kind of looks like and resembles bar barbarians, so that's, I guess, uh, the baddies of this scenario. Now, you can, by the way, select any color you want, so, you know what, I feel kind of orangey today, so we're gonna be orange today, because uh, why not? Again, I want to show you guys different factions, so I guess we can play Rampart. Uh, this is kind of like a wood elfy kind of class, and, uh, or faction, rather, so... Yeah, and I'm gonna select my hero. I have a favorite hero of this, uh, Kyrie. Now I don't know if this is a chick or a guy. You guys can uh, tell me in this uh, in the comments. But again, uh, his specialty, his or her specialty, is logistics, which I love. I love logistics. Um, and for starting bonus, I will select an artifact again, cause you know I'm just feeling lucky today. Who knows? Uh, so let's press begin and let's go. And again, I'm going to walkify the map, so there we go. Oh, it looks like we're starting on an island. My vacation is about to complete. Yes, yes, just walkify everything. My vacation is complete. Enjoy yourself or else. Let's go ahead. Uh, by the way, you can uh, go through these options. I'm just going to press OK. I'm just going to the default ones. Uh, in this strange land, heroes may learn two secret skills in addition to eight normal ones. And again, we get another description. The barbarians have been preparing for war for some time now. A few days ago, they started a campaign to get rid of everyone else. Seeing uh, this, uh, uh, the world, uh, the other lords of this realm have risen up in arms. It is now up to you to get uh, everyone under control. So basically, kill everybody or die. This is the scenario we're playing. Um, one thing I forgot to explain, guys. Um, well, this this map is actually. Uh, every map, or, well, this map doesn't, and this map is going to be an exception, every map has an underworld, so if I press this button right here, I would get an underworld option, but I don't because this world, or this map rather, does not have that option. So, uh, again, I will name my character, um, Armadize, here we go, boom. And we start with a very nice skill, as you can see, basic archery, 10% uh, range damage. This is basic, uh, this is a basic skill, so as time goes on, I think you can get up to 30. And right away, I'm very, very happy with the artifact that we got. Look at that, worn on the finger, this item increases your luck and morale by one. So, already we get these nice icons, uh, you know, if I didn't have this artifact. This will help us in an early game, very nicely, and we also start with three defense along with other skills. Very nice, uh, very neat. I'm, I'm really liking this map. Hopefully we're not, we don't, we don't have, uh, uh, we're, not, we're not gonna get killed uh, very quickly. Anyway, all right, so again, this is going to be named, you know what, YouTube. This town is, will be known as YouTube, because why not? All right, so town hall, let's build a town hall. So as you can see, this, uh, this, uh, uh, I guess faction has a different environment and a different uh, theme music, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool piece of music. Uh, let's buy all the. Okay, so 
uh, the, we have Kentars as our creatures. These are tier one of this uh, faction. We have dwarves, which again, these guys are by the way are very resistant to ma uh, very resistant to magic, which is really cool. And we also have wood elves, which are shooting guys, and they can shoot, and that is cool. All right, so straight away, I see a wood camp over there. Let's gather that wood. Let's get to wood. All right, so, ooh, wow, a pack of psychic elementals. These guys are quite a high tier monster. Let's not battle with them. Um, okay, so that's gonna be the end of my turn. Um, now, some of you might ask why I'm not creating a second character that might help me. I might create one, should I? Mm, you know what, this is a medium map. I don't think we need another character, so I'm just gonna play with uh, one for now. But if you're playing an extra large map, that can help you, so. Yeah, just keep in mind, so a treasure chest. Alright, so you find a chest overwhelming with gold. You can keep the gold or give it to your troops to improve them. Now, I'd say that I'm gonna take gold, because uh, upgrading these creatures, whenever I get the upgrade, will be very cheap. So I'm just gonna get the gold, because why not? And uh, gold is good. Um, I got a comment on another video, why when I'm um, basically asking me... Oh, okay, you know what? Question time! Uh, why do I pick... Uh, why do I pick experience whenever I am uh, uh, when I, whenever I get a chest? Now, this is gonna be a little segment here. In my opinion, if you have a lot of experience, if your character has a lot of experience, so let me open this uh, this uh, section here. As you can see, I'm very low in experience. So when you level up, uh, you guys saw that you can either get randomly uh, an attack, defense, power, or knowledge skill. So um, if you have, again, a higher attack, uh, you will inflict a lot more damage, and uh, if your character, what I'm trying to say is, if your character is, uh, you know, let's say level 5, or just a higher level, um, you can beat monsters more easily, so, uh, in the end, I think, uh, in the long run, you will be able to capture more stuff, and in the end, you will be richer. Now, you know, you can really argue either way which one is better, you know, gold versus experience, which is better. Uh, but, um, I think that uh, experience is the way to go, but again, someone will argue in the comments telling me, you know what, Exp uh, money is more useful, but it depends on the situation, okay, so just to, I just wanted to get that off my chest, so you guys know. Anyway, City Hall, let's build a Magicus Guild, and, uh, yep, let's go, next turn, alright, now, Armored Eyes picks up four sparkling bars of magical Mithril, okay, so, to check your total Mithril uh, at the end time, right click on your Kingdom Overview. Um, so I just do this. This is from the mod, by the way. So now what you can do with Mithril is you can, for example, if I do this, um, uh, I can use my Mithril. So for example, Ore Mine. The miners at this Ore Mine claim that by placing some Mithril, four bars would be enough, among the ore they produce, they can fool some treasure hunters into mixing ore for free and double on production. So you can basically double the production of one, um, you know, one, uh, uh, you know, resource or something like that. You can basically, that's what Mithril is used. So it is useful, but uh, sometimes I forget that I have Mithril and stuff like that. So it's just cool to, you know, to be reminded. Anyway, Windmill, the Keeper of the Mill, announces, My lord, I have been working very hard to provide to you with these resources. Come back next week for more. Okay, five, five, five gems, that's not bad. Um, okay, let's go deeper here. Uh, Mercury, six Mercury, not bad. I'm not gonna be, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to defeat them. Let's go back on the next turn. Okay. By the way, you guys are probably going to see this uh, uh, Fraps counter. Uh, I can't do anything about it. It's an old game, so just get used to it. I guess uh, is the best thing I can tell you. And let's build that marketplace. Boom. I keep missing the button because there you go. Okay, so. Oh, we already seen some action here. Some guys are over there. So, um, I guess um, behind these mountains, there's a, another dude, and you can see, kind of see his hero horse over there, kind of sneaking away there in the background. You know, behind this kind of, I don't know, that looks kind of like space, but it's just to hide the map. So, you know, stuff that you haven't seen yet. Anyway, wow, I, I'm not moving quite a lot. Okay. Okay, let's build, okay, blacksmith, let's build the blacksmith. Now, uh, depending on what kind of faction you have, uh, faction's castle, for example, in the previous game, I, uh, from the blacksmith, I got, I could get, um, 
um, ballistas. But in this castle, in this faction, I can get first eight tents. Now, what first eight tents do, they heal your uh, creatures for, you know, uh, some kind of uh, uh, health uh, stats, whatever. Um, so they can heal you, which is cool. City Hall, let's build that. Bam! Okay, another thing I'm gonna get whilst my hero's here, I'm gonna click on this button and buy a spell book. So that's gonna be 500 gold, but now I can cast basic spells like Magic Arrow, which is a, a bolt of magical energy to strike the selected unit, which is which is a cool basic spell. You can also, uh, also get Haste, which is a really nice, increases the speed of the selected unit, and slow, and uh, these are just really cool basic spells. Uh, now, depending on what, again, what kind of faction uh, castle it is, uh, these spells will vary, so it's really cool. Um, something I really like about the game. Okay, let's get some wood. We got some wood over here. Again, I can choose. I'm gonna go with gold, because why not? Alright. Oh, I missed that treasure chest, damn it! Alright, let's go. Now, I'm not sure if all the ambient sounds are on. Yes, they are. Okay, just do just to make sure. Alright, let's get that treasure. Again, you can choose uh, gold versus experience. I'm gonna go with experience and... Okay. Not level up, I guess. Okay, which is hot. I'm not gonna go here, because I don't know what kind of skill I can... Whoa, someone's already been here. A red flag. Not good. Okay. Oh, uh, really? Oh, uh, no. This is a bad skill. Why did I get this skill? Damn it. See, you can either get a bad or a good skill. Again... I, in my opinion, this is not a good skill, but... Oh, uh, crap happens, I guess. Okay, let's continue. Alright, capital. I need a castle. I'm just gonna build that. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Alright, Kentaur stables. These... Oh, I can get stuff from them. Oh, okay. For free. Yes, Kentaur's for free. 14 Kentaur's join your army. Nice! So these uh, are stables. I can get, as, as you saw, free Kentaur's from there, which is nice. All right, treasure chest, and number tr nice, a thousand, fifteen hundred uh, XP. I'm gonna level up here, and uh, my, uh, this hero has a commander hero prat. So this guy is kind of like a monk kind of guy, and uh, yep. All right, basic damage skill. I'm gonna go with damage because, ooh, already level three. Nice, basic attack then. Cause why not? All right, so oh look at that. That's beautiful. Look at that beauty. Look, basic armor. Minus 10% damage to friendly troops. Now this is just the one of the best skills to have in the game. Uh, I mean, this is just oh nice. An advancer plus 25% damage, uh, range damage, beautiful. Now basic pathfinding, uh, 25 rough pe uh, terrain penalty, minimum army speed of six. So this can help you to move around the map. But I would just go with archery because why not? Campfire. Let's get that. Nice six mithril. That's beautiful. Need some gems. Wow, some. Hmm, I think I can defeat these guys. I have some spells, too, so... Yep, because if I go that way, I would have to fight uh, rates, which are kind of difficult to kill. Yeah, my best bet is just to go and kill these guys. Let's just go ahead and do that. Alright, we're going to be building a capital soon. In a couple of turns, which is nice. Again, some guys over there. I'm gonna have to get him, so it's week two now. Let's go and kill these wolf raiders. Alright. Ooh, 27 of them! Not bad! Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and cast a spell. Okay, 30 per 30 damage. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for these guys. Again, I can shoot with these uh, elves, wood elves, which is nice. I'm gonna wait for him to come over here. Um, yep, this guy... Uh, this might be a problem. Hmm. You know what? Um... Okay, this is a hard decision. You know what? I'm just gonna cast a spell at this guy. Bam! Nice. Um, that didn't do a damn thing. Well, okay. He's gonna probably attack my archers because that's what AI usually... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that was a beautiful hit. All right, let's kill this guy. Bam! Okay, uh, dwarves again. Nice going. And you're dead. Bam! Love it. 200 270 experience. Not bad. Okay, School of Magic. The tingle of magic fills the air of this school of mystical arts. An accurate offers to sign you up for the next class for a thousand gold. You will learn. Ha oh, I'm sorry. You will have your choice of increasing your knowledge or learning the better focus on your powers. I'm gonna go with powers because uh, this makes my uh, my uh, spells more powerful, and you can get spell points. Um, 
uh, in other ways. So I, in my opinion, the knowledge uh, skill is just really not that useful in the game, especially with this mod installed. Uh, I don't know, but that's just my opinion. Again, you can argue either way. So let's get these crystals here. Nice, six crystals and a windmill. Let's get that windmill. All right, four crystals, not too shabby. I gotta say, why is it mighty thing? Now these uh, usually give me riddles. You are weary from traveling, return. Okay, never mind. I think you get a riddle in this uh, building here. But anyway, let's continue. Okay, so there's some kind of island here in the middle as I can see. Yeah, but that's basically it. So I don't think we can build a capital just yet. Um, yep, that's gonna be it for now. Let's let's skip that turn. Okay, should I get this? I'm gonna get this wood here first. Idol of Fortune. Let's get that. Uh, I just got. I believe that's. Yep, that's two birds now. Yep, plus two. Not bad. That's not. Uh, this is a. Uh, by the way, a, a temporary increase. That's gonna wear off, but this whenever you have an artifact, it's never gonna wear off. So it's uh, it's forever basically. That's nice. This is a tavern. I can uh, get heroes from here. I don't need a hero right now, but if I wanted to get a hero, rally flat. Let's get this. Nice, another a temporary buff. Um, you rally uh, your troops around this flag, renewing their strength and, and lifting their spirits. You feel at your peak, and you can travel a bit further today. Nice. This is a very nice uh, buff right here. Rally flag. Okay, now we have three. Three morale. That's not too shabby at all. Okay, I'm going to just pick up this treasure chest. And, uh, all right, so this is what I was uh, talking about. You can get spell points from uh, these kind of chests. I think this is from the mod. So, inside the chest, you find a purse of 700 gold and a living scroll. So, uh, do you keep the living scroll or destroy and gain magical energy? Now, precision, I... This is a good buff, okay? This is a nice buff for your range units. But, uh, 60 spell points. I'm gonna just take those. So, bam. Alright, so let's continue on here. Several simians. I might be able to kill those, but I'm... I don't, I don't know. Alright, um, can we get that? No, not yet. I'll screw that. I'm just gonna build this... Uh, Miner's Guild. The Miner's Guild increases your Dwarf production by 4, so that's not a bad... Because we get 2,000 gold, I will be able to build my capital anyway. Alright, let's continue. Campfire, nice. 600 gold and 6 mercury. Not too shabby. Okay, some gems over here. And we got a treasure chest. Again, Dispel. 900 gold and a, uh, a Dispel Living Scroll. I'm gonna go with... Uh, uh, this spell is useful, but uh, it's a very basic spell, so I would rather get just spell points. I will get that spell um, by doing other stuff, I guess. Uh, these creatures are quite difficult to kill. Several. I don't know how many is that. Mm. Difficult choice to make. What can I say? A pack. Now, a pack is definitely more than several. Tough choice. No, I'm just going to go here and build a capital. <laughs> Just build a capital, that's all I'm gonna do. Bam, okay, so now we have, uh, we get uh, 4,000 gold per day. Our, our um, castle is fully, fully upgraded, beautiful. Hmm, or should, should I just go back? Hmm, I, I can kill those rates, those are not. Uh, these are basically uh, cantars uh, who can shoot, so they're actually quite difficult to kill, but, hmm. Tell you what, what if I go back? I I can go back, kill these guys. Maybe possibly. Hmm. All right. Should I risk it? I might risk it. Well, my defense is not bad, and um, these guys can shoot. You know what? I'm just gonna go back. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, doing the right thing. I hope. I can possibly kill these. Yeah, these guys are going down, so I'm gonna kill kill those guys instead. Whoa! What? What? <laughs> Look at what a cheeky dude we have over here. La Lacus Lacus uh, decides to get over here on my island here, and uh, I guess he's willing to capture my castle. Not at all, dude. You're not going anywhere with that hero. I'm sorry, purple. Who's purple? By the way, you can check uh, by clicking, I believe, um, here. No, no, no. That wasn't. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm figuring stuff out. Okay, bam. So purple is uh, 
All right, so he's a conflux faction. Okay, elemental faction. Okay. A few and lots of uh, fairies. Okay, not too scared at all. I'm gonna kill these guys and just pretend that I'm a boss. Okay. Okay, let's battle these guys. Uh, I think I can kill them easily. Damage from spells are reduced by 50, so casting spells on these guys are not a good choice. Let's skip that turn. Let's shoot them. I believe I can do it. What is happening? Why is the why is the movement so choppy here? Well, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure this out later. All right, let's cast a spell. Boom. Okay. Skip a turn. Oh, these guys are coming forward. Not good. Shoot this guy. Okay. I might actually uh, quickly resolve these battles so the you know the video doesn't just. Uh, go on for hours, but uh, I like to battle manually. Some people just uh, auto-resolve all the battles, but I really love the battling system in this game, so... I don't know. We'll see. You guys can tell me in the comments. I can just uh, skip this in the editing. While I'm editing, I can just, you know, skip all these uh, battles. But, yeah. Okay, let's attack, actually. Okay. Alright. Uh, shoot this guy. Boom, that was a bonus from uh, the, the lug buff, so that's nice. Let's actually attack. Let's do this. This might have been a bad idea. Nope. Okay, doing quite well. Let's move on forward with the dwarfs. Nice. Uh, let's skip that turn. I gained an extra turn, but I skipped it because that's why. Uh, let's attack. I have no idea why the all of a sudden the, the video, or rather the game is just so choppy all of a sudden. I'm gonna move away with the archers. Let's do this. Oh, I'm getting beat up. Not good. Let's move forward with dwarves. Alright, so... Oh, AI is just brilliant. Uh, it's, a, it's attacking the tent, which is not... Not what you should be doing to, you know... Because the tent has quite a lot of health. Well, maybe not so, but still. Shoot these guys, kill these guys, and they die. Nice. Now, now let's move forward with the dwarves. Okay. Oh, come on. Only four left. Come on, we can do it. And I think they're going down. Yep, they're going down. There you go. So, I think... Oh, and 720 experience. Not bad. Okay, so this guy... Now you, might, you guys might be concerned about this guy and telling me that... Oh, wait. Armored eyes. Aren't you concerned about this guy? Lycus? Lacus? Well, what I'm gonna do... He can certainly attack my castle and that would... And if he wins, that would be a big, big um, punch uh, to my face. But um, I'm gonna build this homestead. Bam, as you can see. And uh, get as many troops as possible. So, yeah, <laughs> I might... I should be able to defend it. Okay, let's skip that turn. Let's see what this guy does. Yeah, see, I told you, I told you guys, this guy is not, he doesn't have the balls to, to attack me, because he sucks. Let me show you why he sucks. I'm gonna quickly go to this water wheel, get a thousand gold quickly. I'm gonna, I might be able to, you know, can I pass through here? Oh, you are, what? I have to go around? I thought I could just pass through here. Okay, what a troll map, seriously. Okay, let's just go back then. Well, uh, okay, let's just visit that. I guess. Um, so as you can see, I, I'm not concerned at all. I'm even going to uh, upgrade my uh, my uh, homestead because I have a lot of wood. So, bam, and upgrade the archers. Now, uh, what happens when you upgrade the archers to um, Grand Elves? Now they shoot twice. So that's even more deadly. So, I mean, if this guy's going to attack, he's going to be in a tough spot. Oh. And my cat is uh, sharpening his... Uh, Nails in the background or claws. Um, yuck. Okay. Okay. So the AI decides to really team up on me. Look at this guy. Yuck. Now this guy. Okay. Okay. This guy I'm, I'm concerned with because uh, look at his uh, troops there. Uh, pack several horde um, lots, several pack. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good at all. And I might actually have to pause because my cat's need my cat needs attention. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so hopefully no more interruptions from the cat. Anyway, um, I'm in a very tough uh, tough spot right now. This green guy, Yog, um, he's gonna kill me. Okay, 
Long story short, this guy is very powerful. Now, I don't know his stats. Maybe I can check them here in my castle. Um, nope, I can't. I don't know his stats. All right, so, yeah, I'm in a very tough spot. But um, this guy is coming forward. I'm not afraid of him because I can just take him out really easily. At least I, I, I think so. But uh, unless this guy decides to, you know, turn away and just back off, that is going to be very good. But if he decides to come here and be all like, uh, pretending like he's the boss, uh, then we're in a tough spot. So let's get. To, ooh, nope, nope, nope. Just let's just proceed here. I uh, hired these kentars, and I'm very close to my castle. Oh, crap baskets. Ah, uh, he's not gonna attack. Come on, this castle is guarded. He can't possibly just make it. Okay, but just in case he decides to make it, I'm gonna upgrade my my kentars. Cause why not? Because why the hell not? Boom. So now they are... Kentar Captains. Beautiful. So let's buy even more troops just to scare this guy off. I want him to back off because, as you can see, he's... um The only way he can go is back to his boat, which... Where's his boat? Okay, never mind. Well, I don't know where he's going to go. He's probably going to go here and meet me, and he's going to die. So let's see what happens. I mean, if he attacks my castle... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he backs up. Okay. Oh no, this guy's here now. What should I do? Okay, you know what, guys? Since I think I'm gonna die anyway, I'm just gonna go kill this guy. Um, yep. Okay, the enemy commander has persuaded some of the creatures in your army to leave the battlefield and live peacefully, peaceful lives instead of fighting two of the Kentors. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Okay, he just killed my wool. Uh, what else? Oh, you think you're cool with your magic spells? Or that, that wasn't even a magic spell. Nice stats, actually. Attack 3, defense 1. Well, your defense sucks. You know what? These guys are going down. Now, uh, what this guy can choose to do is he can actually surrender or retreat, which uh, if he retreats, he will use all of his, lose all of his um, um, creatures. But if he surrenders, he, can, uh, he has a choice of paying for his creatures and uh, getting back that way but well, I'm gonna go forward here full power I'm not afraid oh wow that was a useless buff one can I can tell you and uh, this guy's going down backstab BAM boom you're dead you're dead dude don't even battle oh he's so close to dying no he's gonna run he's gonna retreat oh no he's not gonna retreat BAM you're dead you're dead yes Boom, and I get back. Oh, and I level up. So this was the reason why I wanted to do this, so I can level up and uh, maybe, possibly, uh, somehow, by some magic, defeat this guy, or just uh, hopefully he ignores me. So I'm definitely going to go with advanced fire magic because this will reduce the cost of my fire spells and increase the effect of them so I can deal more damage with my spells. So when this guy decides to attack me, I have a better chance of... Okay. No. No, no, I can't get back to my castle. Oh, no, he reaches me now. Please just, you know, go here. Just go attack these guys. I don't know. Do something. Not Don't kill me. Come on. Why? And this guy's just a complete douchebag. Look at this. He decided to capture all, both of my camps here. Oh, you know, I'm dealing with AI here. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so what is the... Okay, you know what? Hmm. This might be a way to go. Cost of crystals. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go with this. I have nothing to lose now. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Yes! Yes! He turns back. He turns back. Oh, okay. The week of Gremlin. All right. I might have a chance of winning now. All right. Let's upgrade these guys. Yes. Look at this. Now my army is not too shabby. A hundred of uh, Kentar captains. That not. That's not too bad. And seven archers, that's... And look at the amount of stuff I can buy. But the thing is, I don't have a lot of money, so... It's a choice between building stuff or getting the troops. So I'm gonna buy the troops. I'm just gonna... You know what? Archers is not the bad choice. Hmm, how many... 26. I'm gonna buy these guys. And, uh, well, how many I can afford? Uh, I can buy Pegasus right now, which um, are quite fat, powerful, but I would rather go with... Uh, lower tier monsters just because I can get a lot more of them. Alright, let's go back and capture these things. Now, if this guy decides to attack, I think I might be able to take him out this time because um, 
well, I have a lot more troops than previously, so... If he comes here, I mean, all power to you, dude. You could come here and t try to attack me, but I am a lot more powerful now, so... Uh, you know, I'm, I might even have a chance of uh, killing this guy now, so let's go back here. And one thing I'm gonna do, maybe, should I create another character? Uh, I'm not going to. Okay, let's upgrade the dwarves. Alright, so now the dwarves are, let's just... Okay, so now it's they're a battle dwarf, so... Alright. Okay, he has another character roaming around, and it's in... Okay. Okay, so this guy... You know what? Let's be all badasses over here, you know what? I'm gonna attack the guy, I'm gonna confront the guy and um, tell him how bad he is. Okay, enhanced. No, I'm gonna save those up for later. Uh, these guys, you know what? These uh, dendroids. These guys. These guys will help me. Now I know one of them is in a boat. Now, you know what? I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna play this one safe. I'm gonna play this one safe. I'm just gonna skip a turn. Let's see what. Let's see what happens. Okay, he defeats some guys, and he's. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of treasure over there. Now, wow, this guy knows how to play. So, you know what? Get over here. <laughs> let's let's play it this way. Let's see what happens. Um, let's see. Uh, eh, this one for two thousand gives me more dendroids over the week. And uh, look at this guy just collecting the treasure. Now, should I confront the guy? Now, of course, I can save, and if I die, you know, I can just reload, but I don't want to play it this way. I want to play it, you know, one death. You already, you know, if, if I die, you know, the episode's over, so that's how we're going to play this one. Mm, should I just go back? Perhaps get more troops, but then the guy's going to get stronger. Um, tough choice. You know what? You know what? Um, you know what? You know what? You know what? Screw you! I'm gonna attack you! You know what? Because you're a bat... Okay, let's just see what happens. What this guy's gonna do. So, if he attacks me and I die, the game's over. So let's just see what happens, alright? Oh, look! Oh, look! The guy's actually scared! You know what? Screw you, dude! Screw you! I'm gonna attack you! Bam! I'm attacking the guy! You know what? This guy is not that good. Oh! Whoa! 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 Hold the phone! He has 8 attack! Eight attack, like actually eight attack. That is um, that is scary. Okay, so let's see what we're facing. Actually, seventeen orcs. These guys can shoot, so I need to take them out quickly. Uh, orges, only eight of them. That's not too scary. Oh, eighty-seven goblins. That's not good. All right. So now looking at my stats, uh, two attack, terrible. And defense 4, not too shabby, I guess. Uh, power 3. Okay. Okay, it's bad. Let's battle. Let's battle, dude. Um, spell on the orcs. Now, I'm sure this guy has some spell. Nope, he only has 8 spell points. Okay, let's play it safe. Um, okay, his morale is really low. That's good. I really want to take out these archers because they're just gonna suck. 46. I think this guy's gonna die. You know what? I have a. Uh, I have quite a lot of troops here up my sleeve, so... Oh, and he has a ballista too, so that's terrible. He's moving forward with his troops. Oh, that's, you know, looking again, that's quite a lot of troops. Okay, let's move forward here. Oh, he's coming, he's co Oh, oh, whoa, what a t- Oh, he just took out my, my wood elves, that's not good. No, 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 no. He just took out all of my camp- no, no, no. You are kidding me. I need to take out these guys. Alright, let's go. Boom. Boom. Okay. Not good. Not good. I'm g I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. Oh. Ah, uh, just take out. Ah, uh, this is horrible. I was too confident. I was too freaking confident. Now I'm gonna die because of that. Oh, he has these birds too. They're actually quite a high tier monster. Oh, man. I guess uh, the moral of this video is never be too confident. As you can see, I'm, I'm gonna die. Okay, 14 of these guys. You guys are dead. Yep, yep, I'm gonna die. Now, he's gonna take quite a lot of damage, but uh, 
definitely the moral of this video, just never be too confident. I'm gonna have to run or retreat. Let's see what which option I get. Yes, I can actually surrender and yep, I'm gonna take that. Yep, so uh, this guy survived. I tried to attack him, he actually survived and uh, I'm gonna get my hero back by buying him right here. Alright guys, uh, so that's gonna be it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna be continuing on this scenario next episode because uh, I wanna take revenge, okay? This guy, he thinks he's cool, he's gonna die, okay? So Yogg, remember, uh, just this guy's gonna go down. Anyway guys, again, I wanna thank you for watching, uh, tell me if you like the format. Uh, I know this game is very old and so, you know, the, you know, the support for modern resolutions is very weird, so tell me what you think, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode.